everybody, welcome to the next episode. Today we have something exciting to show you. That's right, Jan and I have got something very exciting to show you today because quite recently we found this incredible Bronze Age arrow. Now it's barbed and tanged and on one side of the arrow there is a fracture. Now we showcased this particular arrow in one of our recent videos and one of our subscribers, Lawrence, pointed out that it's most likely that this arrow was placed in a burial and cremated, causing the flint to reach high temperatures and fracturing the artifact. So we are actually going to be demonstrating that on a piece of flint, on an actual flint arrow, to see if we can recreate that same fracture. Now the arrow we're gonna cremate today is actually a reproduction of a Neolithic barbed and tanged arrow. Now Lawrence, who pointed out the suggested cremation of that particular arrow, actually makes incredible replica Neolithic flint arrows. And he's been so kind as to make Yana and I one for our channel so he can recreate that cremation and to see if we can get that same fracture on that particular arrow. And we've got a parcel from him and we're gonna open it now and, and see what's inside. Let's get started. Yeah, it's very exciting. And Lawrence, a big, big thank you. Thank you. That's incredibly kind of you. And it's thank quite, you so much. And it's quite exciting to see what's in there. So you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's open up his package. Uh, so, This is the actual package, everybody, that Lawrence has kindly sent us. And there's those replica arrows are in there. And we're looking forward to having a little look. And Jan is doing the honours and opening up that package. OK, we've actually got this incredible little note from Lawrence as well. So he's actually put a, something, he's actually put a big surprise in with those arrows. I can and see it here. You can see it there. Yeah, okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute, but I'm just going to have a little read and see what he says. It says, Stephen and Yana, I have sent you a surprise, a flint adds. My challenge for you both is to polish the bit of cutting edge. You will notice I have started already. If you look hard, you will need to find a large, flat and smooth stone and use a mix of water and sand to grind and polish the cutting edge just like the one Yana found made of red Heligoland flint. I don't know if you guys remember that incredible red flint that Yana and I found earlier in the year. So we're going to try and recreate that. How are we supposed to find sand? Oh, we'll get some sand. Okay, and this is on the back. This will take a long time and lots of elbow grease, but will give you an idea of the skill of ancient craftsmen. Have fun and happy hunting lawrence so, so lawrence thank you so kindly that adds is incre incredible i'm gonna look i'm really looking forward to having a little look at that we're item. so excited and we're definitely going to give that a go in one of our later videos so yarn is just going to open up the pack open up the rest of that package now and we're going to have a little look at those artifacts so are you ready yana yes okay Oh, look. Oh my god, look how much tiny stuff there is. Oh, they're all packaged all separately, aren't they? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so let's... Okay, shall we open these up, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this is actually the first one of the arrows. It's razor sharp, and he's flaked that really nicely on the sides. This particular arrow is a chisel flake arrowhead. Can I feel it? Yeah, you can feel it. It's really sharp. You can't don't cut yourself. How did he do it? With a lot of hard work. He's so talented. He is, it's just like really thin as well, isn't it? Look how I know, I think he needs to teach us thin, how to do it. That's, that's, that's amazing. He needs to teach us, yeah. we need to learn. So, right, right, I'm look. opening this one because it looks really big. Yeah, go on then. Let's look. Oh, I can see it. Wow. What have you got? There's that. Okay, it says, this is a baron. Oh, there's so many. A 
chisel perforator. Look at that big one. Oh wow. And look, we've got this little example. Yeah. And look, this mini one. Oh wow, that's feel that Yala, that's really, really sharp. If you hold them two and show them, there's two more there. Now these little tiny pieces, quite often they use them during the Mesolithic. These little microlith pieces. Holy crap, that's sharp, isn't it? That, that is really sharp. <laughs> I knew I should open that next. <laughs> right. Let's open the next one. Next one, yeah. Let's open this one next. Right, then. This is like a birthday gift. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, look at it. Wow, oh, it's like a little blade, isn't it? There's more still. And more. Yeah, these are little tiny, like, near li 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 these are note. like tiny little knives. Oh my god, there's knives. still more! And we've actually, we've actually got Neolithic knives that look like this. There's more in here still. How? <laughs> That's sharp. And there's another piece just, just there, Don. Yeah, it's incredible. This one here. Yeah. It's really sharp there. It's really sharp, is it? Feel it on the edge. Wow, that is really sharp. This is so nice of Lawrence giving all this to us. Yeah, it is. It's very lovely of him. Let's see what Lawrence put in this one. Wow. Let's have a little look. I think we've got like a couple of arrows there, haven't we? Yes, look at them. Or scrapers, perhaps. Ow, that's sharp. Oh. Thumb scrapers. Oh my god, this is so sharp. Yeah, very cool. Feel how sharp that is. Yeah. This is so sharp. Now we've got a couple of thumb scrapers, everyone. We're so couple lucky. Of replica Neolithic thumb scrapers there. There you go. Let's open this one. Oh, I'll just open it from here. I. Ha I I'm going to guess this is another, like, a hand scraper. <gasps> Holy crap, that's nice. Look at it. <laughs> Look. Wow. <laughs> that is very nice. Let me see if I can And that's a little it. tiny arrow there. A little leaf-shaped arrow. Huh? I can't read it. Okay. Yep. I can't read that. It says type 4A leaf arrowhead. What's type 4 that? Well, it's, it's, there's all different types of arrows. Huh? You have to tell me. Yeah, I'll teach Get you. Get away, mosquito. Ah, that's lovely. Got it. I'm opening this one next. Holy crap, that's nice. Look. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> that is so nice. Yeah, that's very nice. This is a Type 4C Leaf Arrow. Have a look. I read yeah, that well right. done. I like the point. Yeah. Give me feel her shoppies. I'll put your finger on that. Ouch. That does hurt, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. It's so sharp. Okay, you ready for the next one? Yes. I'm gonna open this one because it looks really, really wrapped. So it means it's good. I see the note. Here it is. Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Holy macaroni! That's nice. Oh my god, that's incredible! Oh wow! Oh my god! Lawrence, this is amazing. We love it, Lawrence. <laughs> wow. This is bell, beautiful barbed, barbed, and tanged. No. But that does it, yeah. Oh, it is a bell beaker style barbed and tanged blue grey flint arrowhead. That's what I was going to say. So, bell beaker culture was one of the Neolithic cultures in the UK. Is it? Yeah. And came over across from Europe. Wow. That is so nice. That is so nice. I, I, I've actually. Yana and I don't actually have an arrowhead that looks like this. Now we um, do. And we do have a really lovely barbed and tanged arrowhead, but. Not like but, but, that. But, but, but not like this. We, we've seen pieces like this in a museum, and Lawrence, your craftsmanship is incredible. We love it. Yeah, thank you so much. 
my god. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what this is. That's lovely. This. I can't read that one. Okay. It says it's an Irish Ballyclare type brown flint arrowhead. Oh my god. That's lovely. That is beautiful. Yes. Thank you. It's incredible. For that. Time for the surprise! Yeah, so this is our last last of the items yeah. in this incredible parcel. So this is the ads which <laughs> Lawrence has been so kind to send Yala and I. And he's hoping that we're going to polish this up for one of our later videos. Oh! There's a paper. Okay. Challenge surprise inside. <laughs> I'm not wondering what it is. You can see it looks nice. I've seen you already done it. I can see it. Yeah. I can see it, Lauren. That's lovely. And actually that looks very similar to one that we found here as well, isn't it? Does. It does. That's incredible. Lawrence, thank you so much. We are definitely going to take you up on that challenge and we are definitely going to get this polished in one of our later videos. We're, we're so happy and thank you so much, Lawrence. Yeah, thank you, Lawrence. You're a star. Now, Lawrence actually does take on private work and um, if you would like a replica Neolithic arrow made, he can do that for you. I will pop his email address in the description of this video and just feel free to give him an email and arrange a private commission to have an arrow or a Neolithic knife or a Neolithic scraper or a Neolithic adz made for you. An axe? Yeah, or an axe, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Or an arrowhead. Okay, well, I think it's on with the next part of the video. Now, we've had a little, Yana and I have sat down and had a little think about which, which of these arrows we're actually going to cremate. Now, I really can't bring myself to cremating that beautiful barbed and tanged arrowhead because it's absolutely, it's a work of art. So I don't want to burn that one either. No. So, so we're actually going to cremate the actual leaf-shaped arrowhead. And the reason why we've chosen this one in particular is because it's about the same width as the barbed and tanged arrowhead that we found. So there's the barbed and tanged arrowhead. That's sharp. That Yana and I recently found. It's Bronze Age, and it's got a fract. It's got part of the um, barb. This barb here is snapped off, but this side here has fractured and it's come away from the actual arrow now it was that damage which brought L Lawrence to send me a message suggesting that this particular arrowhead was probably in a cremation now interestingly at home Yana and I do actually have a Bronze Age cremation bowl and I'm going to show you that in this in. video, yeah, when we get home, we'll show we'll show everybody that Neolithic bowl, which was a cremation bowl. It was found in the Victorian period and excavated from a barrow. Now, sadly, in the Victorian times, they didn't really care too much about raiding ancient sites. And the, the actual, it is British. The bowl is a British cremation bowl. But the context of where it was actually found has been lost. It's suggested, though, that it's probably from the south of the country somewhere. How do they cremate it? Well, they'll burn the body. And so, I have so, a so, so this would. Bite, so I think. You've, got, if you, you've got a mosquito bite. You have got a mosquito bite. Perhaps you didn't put enough spray on. Yeah. Okay, just what, make sure they don't keep biting you, yeah? Okay. So, yeah, we, we, Yana and I are going to give it a go and we're going to cremate the leaf shaped arrowhead because it's the same width, same dark. Same 
with as his particular arrowhead. So we're hoping that we'll get the same result as what would happen in a cremation. Now we're going to use just a very small barbecue actually, just a disposable barbecue. We're going to get that as hot as we can and and, and then we'll, we and then we'll, have... and then we'll place the arrow in there and see what mm -hmm. happens. And we also have water on us so we can cool it yeah, down. Yeah, of course. We've got plenty of water and everything. So Just hope we don't drink it all. No. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, so we're going to get set up and then we're going to show everybody what happens when we mm. heat this replica arrowhead to high temperatures. The same effects of what happened or what would happen if this was an artifact placed with somebody who had died and cremated in the Neolithic or Bronze Age period. So here goes. You ready, Yarn? And we're going to yeah. get set up, yeah? Okay, here goes. Okay, so we've got the um, barbecue burning just here, and we're going to place the arrow just on top, and we'll leave it there for 10 15 minutes and see what happens. Right, so there's the arrow, and on it goes. It looks like the ashes, the paper. Yeah. You can smell it burning, can't you? Yeah. And actually that arrow has fractured the actual very end of the arrow. Is it already fractured? It's broken. Yeah. What the hell? Part of the end has snapped off. Look, it's fracturing. Can you see that? Yeah, I can. Can we take it out and look? No, not at the moment. We'll keep that going for just a bit longer. The point's gone. Yeah, the point's gone. So the point's fractured. So that would be the same as what would have happened on that Bronze Age barbed and tanged arrowhead that Yana and I found, where part of the tang, the barb, I mean, snapped away. Okay, we're going to have a quick check see how this arrow is doing. Oh, wow. Okay, apart from the fracture on the end, there's it's not... Okay, everybody, the um, arrow head has actually just fractured like the one, the Bronze Age one that Yana and I have. So it's now in two parts. And I'm not too sure, he's got a bit of trouble getting this out. Right, so we've got the arrow there, part of the arrow. Just gonna pop that on there. Okay, everybody, Yana and I are now back from cremating that arrow, where we wanted to see what would happen to a Neolithic or Bronze Age arrow during a cremation process. And we wanted to see, well, we wanted to test to see if it would fracture the same way as the artifact that Yana and I found, as previously said, in one of our previous videos. And it actually did. We've actually, Done it. We've done it. It's it's fractured the same. So and we're gonna show it to you now. So the arrow cools down really, really quickly, surprisingly. Okay. So here's the actual bronze age barbed and tanged arrowhead. You can see it's snapped just here, and on this side you can see where it's fractured. Now we wanted to test this to see if this arrow was actually an artifact placed in a Bronze Age cremation. So this arrow was placed with somebody who died and they cremated the body alongside this arrow. And as a result, those high temperatures fractured this arrow like this. So here's the replica leaf shaped arrowhead, which is the one we tested on the cremation. And it's actually fractured just here. Of course, the colour of the flint is different, so inside this piece here, it's, you can see it's, it looks white, but um, that's the actual difference in the stone. But yeah, you can see it's actually fractured exactly the same way. So our test worked perfectly. So for us, that's a great conclusion that this particular arrowhead was most likely placed in a cremation. And I would love to do this again. You'd like to do it again, would you? Yeah, I'm sure you would. Thank you so much <laughs> for doing this for us. Yeah, thank you, Lawrence. Okay, and while, and, and, and while we're here, we, we did mention about a Bronze Age cremation bowl 
which was found in the Victorian period in a Bronze Age barrow. And here it is. It's, it's extremely fragile to touch. It's been restored. You can see the res restoration on his actual bowl, but yeah, this bowl's a good 4,000 years old. And it's definitely a work of art for that period. And some of these remains were placed inside that bowl and buried in the ground. And it remained in situ until the Victorian period, which ties in quite nicely with that arrow. Okay, everybody, a big thank you for joining Yana and I on this, this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure Yana, did you enjoy Yana? I want to do it again. Oh, no, oh yeah, I know you want to do it again. I want to do it again. <laughs> Okay, everybody, stay safe, keep well, and Yana and I... We'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> That's right, Yana and I have got something... <laughs> but this arrow <laughs> could have been placed in a cremation. So the flint, the flint arrow, would have heated to high temperatures and part of that flint fractured and popped off and <laughs> popped off it's quite funny isn't it <laughs> okay perhaps not pop off but <laughs> how about we restart that soon yeah